Welcome again, this is Dr. Mugabel and we're doing combined experiments. First, we'll do the combined experiments and then we'll move into permutations and combinations. Now, combined experiments, what are combined experiments? Um, basically, I'll give two examples. Combined experiments are made of uh, sub-experiments. For example, you can combine two things, wind speed and wind pressure or the pressure. Uh, you can also do one experiment and then repeat it n times and this repetition uh, can be combined as combined experiments or can be joined as combined experiments like flipping a coin one time it's one experiment you look at the outcome it's head or tail but if you want to repeat the experiment n times and you look at the joint output you look at having three tails or three heads or n times of heads or tails this is called combined experiments now uh, also if you want to look at the height and the weight if you are interested for example in finding the all students height and weight at the same time you want to study how they are related you're doing combined experiment you're not looking at the height alone or the weight alone so for two experiments the first experiment is referred to in red it has a sample space or possible outcomes S1, event omega 1, and associated probabilities P1. Let's say that there are n possible outcomes for, for the first experiment. There is another experiment, we refer to this in, in blue here, uh, which has n possible outcomes. Then the combined experiment, shown in green here, will have n times n possible outcomes. And if you want to represent this mathematically, the sample space of the combined experiment is going to be the product of the two. We can have all possible pairs coming from sample space one and sample space two. And um, we can look at all possible combinations. This is going to be clear with example. So if we look at an example, let's say we have the first experiment where we us a coin and we are having, having uh, the possible outcomes as head or tail I'm again using the same colors here so the blue is the second experiment we are throwing a die and the possible outcomes is one throw six if we have if we, if we look at the, if, uh, them jointly tossing a coin and throwing a die jointly then the possible outcomes we have tail in the coin and all possibilities for for, for the die from one to six and then we have head in the coin and all possibilities so we have two possible outcomes here six possible outcomes in the second experiment the combined experiment will have two times six possible outcomes which are 12. We can also have other examples in example two we can combine just two basically two coins so we have head or tail the possible outcomes now will be two times two which is four possibilities head 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 tail tail head and tail tail so we can generalize now we can say if you just look at two for example two experiments the first one has a sample space one okay uh, sorry if, if this would be a small letter okay s1 so the possible outcome here is small s1 and we have one outcome from the second experiment the joint will or the combined experiment will have the product of the two so we can say that a cross b okay if you're taking if you combine them together you can look at this in the diagram so the first um, let me try to simplify this with the diagram here so we are, we are drawing let's say that this is the height okay so the sample space are all possible heights here s1 now we are also jointly looking at the weight so if you look at the weight here this is the weight and the sample space let's say from whatever smallest possible weight 40 or whatever up to whatever highest weight could be 200 kilograms 150 i don't know how much so we're looking at the height and the weight so we define the first event a on x to be from x1 to x2 we also define 
the interested weight to be from y1 to y2 we call this event b so what's a it's defined on the height what's b it's defined on the weight if you are interested to combine the two experiments together and you ask every student about his height and his weight then we have uh, looking at this kind of area all possibilities sample space for the specifically for the two events we we'll look at a okay uh, at a with all possible uh, height and then we we'll look at b with all possible weights the intersection between them is what we are looking after here it's a uh, cross b so this is the range of this is the event for possible weight for example event for possible height and we are looking at jointly to be in this area so basically again combined experiment looking at multiple variables at the same time looking at multiple experiments sorry at the same time now if we make combined experiments how do you find the probability so three independent experiments for example we can have sample space for every one of them we define events and we have individual probability how do you find the combined probability now we're looking at one simple case if they are independent okay then the event the new event which is the combined event the green one will be the multiplication the probability of this combined event will be the multiplication of the individual probability so the probability of the combined event equal to the multiplication but remember this is only under the condition of being independent if it's not the case then it's not going to be uh, that simple we have to find the conditional probability that the first one is a1 and then the second one is a2 given that the first one is a1 and we have to use the conditional probability we had before